All right, so look, I was a long time user of MailChimp. I used the product for years, but I moved to something else, and I also moved the client to something else. All right, let's go for a ride, we'll talk about it. Business on a bike with Brooks, yeah. All right, so look, I'm not here to bash on MailChimp. That's not my point. In fact, there was a time in the past where we were a good enough customer, they sent us a, a chocolate chimp in the mail. I thought it was pretty awesome. That was pretty cool. Appreciate you guys, MailChimp. But sometimes you gotta make a move. So for us, I just knew there had to be better products out there. I felt that, now this is like four years ago. I just felt that, okay, you guys aren't keeping up. You're moving too slow. And that's the reason I started looking for alternatives. So those are my biggest beefs with MailChimp, even to today. So one year ago, I had a customer that was using MailChimp and I said, well, hey, I'll give this another go. Let's look at it. Let's see if it's gotten, let's see if, you know, maybe it's gotten better, maybe it's improved. I'll be honest, it was just as slow as it was previously. And it's kind of crazy that, you know, if a software is slow, it can just really mess with the user experience. I mean, this is kind of something that we find out on websites and for SEO and getting your website shrank. The speed, speed does matter, right? Like going into the future, speed is going to matter. That's gonna change the web. Like that was a major reason why we moved from it. The second is because it's a legacy brand, and when I say legacy brand, what I mean is a big, large company, right? Like, so Intuit bought MailChimp in the multi-billion, I don't know what the figure was, but it was an expensive acquisition for Intuit. Intuit owns QuickBooks, Mint.com, and so like, this is a piece of their giant corporate puzzle, if you will. And so when that happens, in my opinion, the product is not as good, right? It, it, it can like lose what it was originally meant to do and help with. And so that's a problem. Third is the pricing. As you grow your list, it's just a more expensive product than other companies. So, so I set out and I started searching. Um, so I spent many hours comparing a lot of the top names that you know in the field, that you found in Google searches and review articles. And I did the same thing. I did the same thing that you did and I settled on a company called Beehive. Now, Beehive has been growing fast, so good chances, or there's a good chance that you've now heard of them, whereas maybe when I first started using them, you were probably like, what the heck is this? Who is this platform? You know, what's going on there? But Beehive is who I settled on. Just kind of a win around all fronts. Now, let me give you a side note and say, here's the truth. Uh, for you to start a newsletter or maybe you're trying to figure out the next step don't get caught up in all of the decision making and all the comparisons you can really get lost in that spend an hour if you want to spend an hour compare and then if you, if you think you need to make a move make a move um use beehive use a different one it doesn't it doesn't matter but 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 make a move and i'll quickly just give you some of the things that i think are cool about beehive and they keep shipping updates like every week they come out with something new and cool. It's pretty crazy, but there's the ability for you to build your email with referrals. So that's pretty neat. It's a free way within your email. If you wanna sell sponsorships, if you have that kind of newsletter, Beehive is actually building out an ad network. Like they have a sales team and you can literally just click a button and have an ad get inserted into your newsletter and get paid via Stripe automatically. Pretty cool. There's a boost network where you can pay other newsletters and they can pay you to kind of promote them. It's like a giant network within the network. On the free plan, even the free plan, you get three publications. That was originally the reason that got me to move because I wrote two different newsletters. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. So for this, for this plan, you know, and I, of course I have a paid plan, but I was like, whoa, for this plan, just by switching, I'll save thousands of dollars. It's kind of like my, my client. I saved them 2,000 bucks for the year um, just by switching them, just because of the size of their email list. And all they were doing was just sending regular emails, like not even, no automations, no tagging customers. Like these are all things that we're starting to do over time. No collecting emails, using forms. Like these are things that we're, we're now doing that they were not doing. And I still saved them $2,000. They didn't care. They didn't care the software, you know, that we, that we use. So um, basically they just let me, they let me run with it. But you have all that. 
with Beehive, right? Premium subscribers, automations. You can tag subscribers. There's unlimited sends. Um, it's, the point isn't to pitch Beehive, but it's honestly the, the product that I've been most excited about this year. And so I kind of I kind of am pitching them. I kind of do want people to move to Beehive. I do want to help them grow. Uh, and I am a I am a partner of them, and I do have a referral link where you you get to save 20% for your first three months. If like if you want to check that out, awesome. And in fact, uh, I kind of started doing this thing. I think it's it's kind of cool. I'll I'll consult you for like for like an hour if you move your your paid email list over because basically I'll get paid as long as I'm getting like you know, I'm, I'm getting a commission from, from Beehive. I'll, I'll help you. Like, I'll help answer your questions. All you have to do is just like, uh, when you use my link, just show me who you are, or your name or whatever, and I'll, I'll, go and, I'll go and look it up and figure it out. <laughs> At the end of the day, I guess this is a call for you to like stop using MailChimp and use something else. And obviously in my experience, after my research, it's Beehive. All right, see you guys later.